Sunday Night Football to wrap it up, Ken. One of the great rivalries in the NFL. Renewed. So are pleasantries. <laughs> in Baltimore, the Ravens, two-point home favorites against the Steelers. Total is 35. Lamar Jackson out. He will not play in this game. Tyler Huntley once again gets the start for the Baltimore Ravens. Marcus Peters is also out for the Ravens. We'll see about Calais Campbell. He was limited practice on Friday. He is listed as questionable. Jason Pierre-Paul and Ronnie Stanley both don't practice Friday. Not great for their potential availability here. Looking like a fairly clean injury report here, Ken, for Kenny Pickett and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, another game where, you know, I mentioned, like, you know, we all watched the cold weather games last week, like Green Bay 425. Actually, it's going to be really mild and like kind of nice. It's actually what Sunday is going to be like in most places around the country. And Steelers Ravens, granted, it's a night game. Uh, I got moved so you don't get like the daytime. You know, it's going to be like 55 degrees here in New England, but might be like 40 degrees. This is not like whatever your imagination is or, of, uh, or memory of the Christmas Eve game against the Raiders. Like That's not what this is going to be. I, I guess I'm just a huge idiot. I like the over in this game like a lot. The first meeting between the teams went completely off the rails. There was scoring, and then both quarterbacks got concussed, and then like everything completely went off the rails, basically. And I, I don't look at the Ravens defense on paper as like particularly special versus like the Niners or the Eagles or some of the other teams that we've seen. So it's not that the total shouldn't be like kind of low. It's just, this is like, this is like blizzard low. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me with this setup. And you know, Huntley's not Lamar Jackson, but also it's like more than competent. And I think if he had played the entire first game would have gone over the number. Uh, so 35, I, I'll take the over. I do not have a strong opinion on the side. I, I kind of just agree with the number. You make such a great point, Ken. The, the total is only like two and a half points more than like the win game last week with the Browns and the Saints. I, I just don't. You're so I don't right get it. about this. Like I just don't understand. And even I'm if you're, even if too. you're like, even if you're a little, I mean, but like, what are you really going to be concerned about? It's like Huntley's playing. I mean, like he's he's playing. And I, I think what it is, honestly, because it's like, well, okay, like why is the total this low? Then it's not like I know everything and nobody else knows anything. It's because these are the kinds of games the Ravens have played since Huntley took over. Just impossibly low scoring games most of the time. Game against Atlanta last week, very low scoring. So it's kind of I, I, I almost want to say it's like recency bias that like somehow because those three games were low scoring, this game has to be low scoring. And it's like well, it's gonna be forty degrees. Like the the teams actually set up pretty well against each other in the first meeting. Like this has to be some rock fight. It has to be like the market is lining this game like there can be no scoring like or you're just dead <laughs> like it just it's impossibly low like I it, it can be a low total what's wrong with 38 <laughs> like what's wrong with that in like a normal weather game between these two teams they play I mean they played earlier this year the total was higher than this if they played in week two this would have been the total in September conditions I just it's a really bizarre setup for me.